Afrida S6. The Afrida S6 is inspired by a reverse three-wheeled motorcycle. The brand believes it's ideal for any rider, regardless of age and in any situation, be it commuting, family gatherings or adventure trips. The hydraulic disc brake adds stability and safety. In addition, the two front wheels have a vertical swing of more than 11 inches for shock absorption and comfort wherever you go. Whether you're riding in the city or outdoors, the bike offers great stability and control. In fact, its suspension structure allows for maximum side deviation of around 40 degrees in order to prevent any mishaps or falling over. It also offers two riding modes as a result, beginners can use the suspension lock in the self-balancing mode, while experienced riders can use the free ride mode for additional control. And finally, it folds up to the size of a suitcase and rolls, eliminating the need to lift it as with other folding e-bikes. Nurong One Nurong, a young Slovenian brand, has just released their exciting high-tech e-bike, the Nurong One. A small company is founded in cafe racer culture and tradition with the goal of creating a modernized version of the cult cruiser bike and upgrading it into a smart high-tech machine. The end result is a one-of-a-kind motorcycle-style bike that not only provides a high-quality riding experience but also actively combats air pollution and its negative health effects. Built out of carbon fiber, this e-bike not only forms a retro-style frame but also comes with a boombox and air pollution sensors. The electric hub motor provides the power for the pedelec and its 300 watt hour battery offers a ride assistance of around 60 kilometers. Plus, with a 100 watt Newton charger, the e-bike can be fully charged in just 3 hours. The boombox is detachable and can also be used as a power bank for charging devices and an accompanying smartphone app provides ride information as well as air pollution status so you can plan your ride to follow the least polluted routes for a more refreshing experience. Wear a bike extreme. You might have seen bikes that are powered by both the arms and legs or even the ones that are rode instead of being pedaled. The Wear Bike Extreme, however, combines both of these exercises in a unique new fashion. Created by German mechanical engineer Martin Kreis, the vehicle features a set of arm-operated cranks and a traditional leg-operated crank set which can be used separately or simultaneously. Depending on what sort of a workout they want, riders can choose between going arms only in either of the two pedaling modes, going legs only in either of the two, or a combination of arms and legs in the same or different modes. Additional features include a 7020 aluminum alloy frame, a mesh seat, mechanical disc brakes, 20 by 2 inch wheels, and a SRAM GX 10 speed drivetrain. The bike retails at around six thousand US dollars. Orange Phase eighty three. Adaptive bicycles come in all shapes, sizes, and abilities. But the wonderful people at Orange Bikes have brought their brightest and best together and developed the Phase eighty three over the course of six years. The front wheel construction of the 83 is one of the most distinguishing features with two wheels, two forks, two headsets and of course two brakes. When the bike is leaned over, the two wheels can rise and fall independently and both can make contact with the ground at the same time. You can even balance this thing without using your legs and at slow speeds manipulate a second set of bars and alter the balance points between the two wheels. As you can probably tell, the 83 is an electric vehicle with a 500 watt hour battery powering a 2 kilowatt motor generating around 150 newton meters of torque. As for its range, there's around 700 meters of technical climbing or 25 kilometers of trail riding. Aerosnow e-trace 
created by French entrepreneurs, the E-Trace is sort of a recumbent electric assist tricycle. Designed specifically for cycling in the snow, instead of wheels, the bike has two steerable polyethylene skis in front and a Cosmo snowmobile-style rubber track in the back. The rider's pedaling efforts are augmented by a 250-watt motor, which is powered by a removable 48-volt lithium battery. This arrangement is claimed to deliver a top motor assisted speed of around 16 miles per hour and a battery range of around 28 miles per charge. The whole thing reportedly weighs around 99 pounds and can support a maximum rider weight of around 265 pounds. The bike will cost you around 7,000 US dollars. If you're looking for something more than a simple e-bike for commuting, the Stroke Cargo Trike by Japanese design firm Envision is a good option. The Stroke has a small footprint and is no wider than a standard bicycle's handlebars. Unlike many other cargo bikes with attached storage baskets in the front and rear, it has a large enclosed trunk in the middle of the bike surrounded by a frame making it a bit more stable as the cargo weight increases. The trunk of the stroke is also removable, allowing the rider to transport it like a large rolling suitcase. Each trike also has a game-changing tilting design that provides an exciting riding experience. It actually leans into turns like a standard two-wheel bicycle, allowing you to fly effortlessly through the city with heavy loads. Since you were so cool and have almost made it to the end of this video, as a bonus, we'll be showing you a bike invention that lets you turn any bike into an e-bike in a matter of seconds. Check out the Pika Boost. This useful gadget can be installed in less than 30 seconds and without the use of any tools. It is compatible with any bicycle and provides intelligence assistance as well as a boost. It also comes with a controller, motorized hub and a battery pack that you can attach to your bike. As a result, you can convert any of your old bikes into an electric bike that can handle rough terrain while also providing a smoother ride. It provides a neat and simple installation by utilizing an all-in-one design of the battery, motor and the controller. Peekaboo can also be easily switched between bikes by quickly mounting it in between the seat and the rear wheel. Great for use in all terrains, it has integrated self-locking mechanisms that make sure it won't loosen due to any vibrations. Subscribe to TechWow for more videos, we won't let you down, and while you're at it, check out more of our content right here.